More than 300 million people in the world suffer from type 2 diabetes. They have trouble regulating levels of insulin. That's a hormone that provides energy to cells. This in turn affects sugar levels in the blood and also body weight. Well, exercise is an important part of managing the condition and the typical recommendation is at least 30 minutes of exercise each day. But now a study has revealed exactly how that exercise can be most effective. Researchers at Otago University tracked blood sugar levels during different intensities and durations of walking exercise. Some days their subjects did 30 minutes of moderate intensity walking before dinner. Other days they did six one minute bursts of high intensity exercise three times a day, half an hour before each meal. They found the high intensity bursts were most effective, reducing blood glucose levels by 12% across the entire day. Activated by exercise, the muscles appeared to better absorb sugar in the blood. If we have a meal and we have our blood sugar levels go up, then the muscle, which is, you know, it's a very large tissue in the body, that's able to take that glucose up and, and keep the blood glucose levels down and under control um, for, for a period of hours after the exercise. Athletes have long timed their exercise and eating to maximise their absorption of sugars. The study showed that the same principle works when applied to people with type 2 diabetes. The research team is now looking at the effects of other forms of exercise, also the long-term effect of different workouts. They say that the findings underscore the importance of the timing and intensity of exercise and should be considered, especially by those suffering or vulnerable to type 2 diabetes.